why don't we broaden it out then with one of our favorite guests on Fast Money and talk a little about the macro markets, maybe throw in a little crypto as well, the retail or the meme investors. Terry Duffy, the CEO of the CME Group, he is in Naples, Florida this evening for a very cool LPGA event, Terry. It's great to chat with you again. It's been like 20 years. We've got to stop meeting like this. Uh, first off, you probably <laughs> also know the Fed as well as anybody. Hey, we're, we're dating ourselves here. It's all yep. good, Terry. Uh, do you think the, the Fed yep. is going to raise, I'm not say taper, we know that, raise rates any time in the next two to three years? Yeah, I actually do. I, it's hard for me to make those predictions, but if, if I had to, I would believe they will because I think they're in a very difficult situation. I think they passed up the opportunities to take rate increases over the last several years. Instead, they let everybody continue being at the punch bowl for probably longer than we should have. So now we're in a situation where I like to tell people all the time, you know, as my former life as a trader, one of the things we always talk about is supply and demand. And the one thing you can never figure out is what the demand is. Now we can't figure out what the supply is. It makes it really difficult to do. And hence, we're seeing these out of control prices in all different products. I think the Fed has no choice but to step in and tamp down this uh, inflation to some degree. Um, I, I just don't see, I think it's inevitable, Brian, how, how they don't do it. Terry, in the midst of what's been a very um, busy period for you, you negotiated a deal that we actually talked about on Fast Money a couple weeks ago with Google, that billion dollar deal, which is extraordinary. You've had a couple weeks now to think about it and look about it and sort of take a deep dive, maybe from a different vantage point. What are your thoughts now a couple weeks out from that deal? Yeah, it's a good question, Guy, because now we've had an opportunity to catch our breath a little bit and let the market absorb what we did with Google. And, you know, I'm hearing a lot of positive things from both the client side and the producer side of the market from the banks and other participants. I think people really realize that this could be a massive cost savings to them. You know, I didn't talk much about on it last time on Fast Money, but, you know, a little bit about the cyber and what does it mean for CME to be under Google Cyber Watch. I mean, it's just amazing the technology that they have. I heard Karen talking earlier about how Google's a growth company, maybe Microsoft's an older company. Google is a very forward-thinking company. We all have to take this under consideration. So from my standpoint, I think a lot of people are realizing what the benefits could be over the long run on this Google deal. So even though the billion-dollar investment by them in CME was interesting, I think that's going to, you know, we won't even be talking about that. We'll be talking about the benefits over the next 10 years, what this is going to do and beyond. Hey, Terry, it's Karen. Thanks so much for being on. You are a uh, master of sort yeah, of the trading dynamics. Is the retail <laughs> trader this time different? And how do you think this plays out? Uh, Karen, you know, we've talked about this before. The retail trader here, I think what the retail trader wants, they, and I've said this before, they want access. They want to make sure that they are not third in line. They want to participate in the marketplace. The problem is they want to pay nothing. So the question is, how does retail get treated? If everybody's going to charge retail nothing, who, how do you make money? So we all know how they make money. It's through the payment for order flow and other methodologies of it. So nothing is free. So the retail participant is prepared to give up a lot because they don't want to pay commissions. I truly believe it's about access. One of the things that I'm big on with my cloud services agreement with Google is giving access to all participants yeah. and make sure it's equal. So, I, I, Karen, I think that the retail trader mm. is here to stay. The question is it will have ebbs and flows, as we both know. Well, Terry, the retail trader also wants to trade things other than stocks, and there's nobody better than the CME globally at creating products that people didn't even know that they wanted at the time. I mean, who, whatever it is with corn yep. or stocks, it doesn't matter. So where do you think we're going to be a year, five years from now for crypto products? How many crypto-related products, options, whatever it might be, do you think there really is a marketplace for? I think it'll, it'll, you know, consolidate into a couple. I think crypto will be used for what I believe its intention is, and that's to speed up commerce. I don't believe crypto is just about the appreciation of the actual crypto itself. I think it's about the uses thereof. So I, I think that's where crypto is heading over the next several years. And you'll have to manage that cost, just like you guys were talking a moment ago about the strength in the dollar. You still have to manage the dollar today. You'll have to manage crypto tomorrow. But you won't be talking about it from an appreciation or not. You'll be talking about it, the uses that we can use, all these cryptocurrencies going through the blockchain to expedite uh, 
the finance and make it more efficient. Let's talk uh, very briefly before we let you go, Terry, about the event that you are at, this LPGA yep. tournament. Not only great yep. golf, great causes as well. You've been doing it for years. Tell us what it means, what are you trying to accomplish, and how maybe some of our viewers or listeners can help. You know, it means the world to me, this event, because it's not just that I, I'm a big believer in equality, and I'm trying to make certain that, you know, CME is a participant. We have, you know, a very diverse uh, client base. I have a very diverse workforce. I want to support women's sports and women in business. But, you know, when I look at the charity that we've been able to partner with, which is St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and the millions of dollars that CME has been able to give them, I mean, to me, there's nothing worse than a sick child and a parent should not have to worry about the consequences of the cost of saving their child. So to be involved with these people from St. Jude, it's humbling and it's, it's an amazing charity. So I'm, that means more to me than a yeah. lot of things right now, Brian, to be honest yeah. with you. And, and, you know, with everything going on in the world right now, Terry, if you want to have your humanity back, go to the Mayo Clinic, go to St. Jude's, whatever, see what these families are dealing with, children. I mean, literally, I'm getting a little welling up. So. Thank you for doing the work that you're doing, yeah. raising a ton of money, a ton of awareness. These are children, sick kids we're talking about, and Absolutely. that should never happen. Terry, thank you. Have a great rest of your tournament. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you. God bless all of you. Thank you. Yeah. God bless you and the work you're doing there. Guy Dami, take it away. I'm getting a little welled up here. It is a fantastic cause. Anything that Terry said regarding the Fed, the markets, crypto, whatever, it caught your ear. No, I think it's interesting, and I think, you know, one of the products, obviously, is gold as well, and I think, you know, if you really ask Terry, I think he would think gold's probably got one move left in it before the end of the year, and I also say, I think, the market doesn't fully really understand, I don't think, uh, the magnitude of, of this deal with Google, what it means, and what it means going forward, and how it probably lines up for the space. You know, Terry's been, he, he's made so many deals over the years, Karen spoke to this, and people sort of questioned a lot of them at the time, and they turned out to be extraordinary in terms of what it's done for CME and their shareholders and this is going to be another one so you know the stock traded up to 230 it's back in the mid 220s now I've been pretty steadfast on this one CME is probably the best it's not probably it's the best run exchange on the planet there you go I still miss breakfast at series though maybe the floor there in Chicago you know what I'm talking about